Hey, it's Clay Trader from ClayTrader.com, and we're going to try to catch some live trades here. So I will keep you updated. It is 9.29 a.m., so the market's about to open any time now. Okay, I'm in here at uh, 58.23 on Facebook Short, looking to cover at uh, 58.17. So let's see uh, what happens here. You can see it's already gapped and moved quite a bit this morning already. So I'm, I'm thinking there's got to at least be somewhat of a pullback here. Um, if there's not, then, you know, I, I still feel good about my 58.23 entry where I can build a bigger position if I need to. So uh, let's see if we can get some sort of pullback here. Looking like it's heading up right now. And it's looking like I'll have to uh, short some more. Let me bring this so we can, there we go. Want to first uh, see where it starts to settle down a little bit before I you know, commit any more capital to short. So it's looking like that 35 area would have been, let's see, went up as high as 38. So if it wants to go up there again, I'll short another thousand at 58.38. There comes somewhat of a pullback. I would love to see it drop back below 20. So I was hoping this trade would be a, a lot more quicker than what it is right now. But it is not. Now we're starting to head back up. So let's see if I can get some at 38. Well, I got 78 out of my 1,000, so that's great. They gave me 78 shares. There I am in. So now my average is 58.30. And I will gladly short some more if I need to. Again, you know, it's pretty overextended on the morning already, especially if you look at the five minute chart. So if this can drop back below 30, I will be golden. And I don't need a, you know, I don't need a big, big move back. It's not like it has to collapse. It just needs to get a, a a decent sized pullback and then you know I'll be all right so getting close here so that I took some at and there I am all out at uh, 5827 for uh, $70 gain so I'll try to catch some more trades here how about another order in at 58.59? And as you can see, that's why, you know, why I locked in profits when I did, because uh, this could have been right around the corner, which it was. Um, so, you know, at that point in my strategy, I was just looking to get out. So, you know, now I'm obviously feeling that much better about taking my $70 in profits um, at this point in time. Now looking to just start all over again. Look at those big, so big sellers right there at the round number of 50. Uh, that, but that's pretty commonplace. So I probably should have put an order in at 49 just to anticipate uh, the big orders there. And then I could, you could see here the pullback, which would have been beautiful. But I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I didn't do that. Uh, we'll just call it a Monday morning mistake on my part. But I do have an order in 58.59, and I will keep you updated. I have an order in a short <clears throat> at 33.10 here on Twitter. Uh, let's see, how high did it actually get? 33.08. Give it one more try to get up there at 33.10. And it fails yet again to get up there. All right, if it looks like it, it's closer, I'll, uh, I'll get the video rolling again. Going for some shares here on Twitter at 58.50. Uh, this is based off of kind of a conjunction of both the five minute and the two minute here. So, uh, well, it was getting close, but now it's bouncing back up. So I will uh, get the video rolling if it looks like it's going to get back down there. Okay, wow. Talk about an amateur mistake. Um, 
I was looking at the Twitter chart over here, yet I still had Facebook up over here. Uh, so I just was totally looking at two different things, and I put in an order, and I was filled for Facebook at a price that I have no idea what level I wanted to get in at. So I'm trying to get out now at 58.52, and I have 300 of my shares taken, which I guess is good, but oh, this is this is embarrassing. But um, it makes a good lesson here on, uh, yeah, why you got to pay attention to what's up on your screens and stuff like that. So hopefully I can uh, um, get out here at 50. Like I said, I'm just I just try to get a couple profits here to cover my commissions on it, but. Um, so they're back. So I am out, but um, and maybe you noticed that you saw the chart over here, and that was for um, Twitter. But I still had Facebook over here, so therefore Facebook was still down here in my entry order stuff. And I believe I just missed out on a great entry on Twitter. So while wow, that was boneheaded on my part, and yeah, uh, for you Office Space fans out there, I definitely have the case of the Mondays right now. Uh, but it worked out in my favor. Uh, but just goes to show, uh, make sure you're always paying attention to uh, your, your play, trading platform and stuff like that. Um, and as you can see, I am by no means a perfect trader. I don't claim to be a perfect trader, but there, just caught that on uh, video. Pretty uh, pretty embarrassing, but you know, I, I, I like to try to be as real as possible, and that was uh, an embarrassing moment, but uh, goes to show what care, how careless trading can really lead to um, some not so good things. Okay, now we are on Twitter. Twitter over here, Twitter over here, um, double check, triple check. I'm going for some shares here at 32.35. Uh, so that's uh, my current strategy on here. You can see this moving average right here. Um, so if it looks like it's get, gonna get down there, I will uh, get the video rolling again. Trying to break through 32.40 here. Let's see if that can happen or not. Nope, so far holding up. And now bouncing back up, I will uh, I'll get it the video going if it looks like I'm gonna get filled. Okay, so I'm going. Uh, what is this? Ace H S H going for some shares short here at uh, 34.68. Oh, and I got up that high. I didn't get how high did it actually go? All right, I am now in. Looking to cover. Wow, that was the weird, huh? I have no idea how that really worked. To be honest, I got my shares, and then you saw me click maybe a half a second later, and I was already out for my uh, quick fifty dollar gain. So that was basically fifty dollars in a half a second. Um, so I guess, I guess I nailed that entry perfectly. And then the, I don't know what happened there really. I'm not complaining, but that was a super super fast profit. Um, so. Cool, not going to complain about that. Let's see if I can catch some more here on ASUS HSH. Going for some more here at 34.89 as a short. So uh, let's see if it can get up there. I will, uh, it's, let's see, eight minutes on the video. I'll pause it, and if it gets closer, I'll uh, get it rolling again. Okay, I'm in and out, and I don't know what's going on with this one, uh, but it only gave me 938, and then as soon as I got shares, it just totally, the bottom fell out of it again, and I scored, what, uh, is my math right on that, a seven, 18 cent gain in literally like five seconds. So I don't know what's going on with this. This is uh, actually... One of the more bizarre things I've seen. I'm up 214 on it, um, but that that was definitely not by plan. I mean, I can't say, oh, I knew that was going to happen. This is just really weird. Um, and I wish I would have caught the entry, but it, it popped up there all of a sudden. And then as soon as uh, you know my order was entry, it was back down here in the 70s. So uh, I, it, it's got to be the black boxes or something's something's going on. It's obviously working in my favor, uh, but I I really don't know to be honest with you how this how I was able to, am able to score these profits literally within seconds on this one. So, um, well, I do know it's got something to do with the black boxes and the supercomputers out there, but I don't know exactly how it's working, especially in my favor like this. So, um, yeah, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, pretty bizarre. So the, good. This is going to make an interesting video for, uh, for those of you watching. This is a pretty unique action right now. Well, we are a little over half an hour into the day, so I'm just going to wrap things up. Uh, 
pretty interesting video here today. Started off slow and then all of a sudden I got some things working in my favor. So I'm not going to complain about that. If you're interested in learning how to trade like this, uh, meaning with technical charts, candlestick charts to be specific, you don't have to use them to, to day trade like I am here. You can use them for swing trading, any strategy really. Charts just measure emotion and emotions happen on all levels. So if you want to learn how to do uh, trade like this with the charts, uh, you can go to claytrader.com. I offer uh, multiple courses on charting. Also, I have a trading group where you can hang out with me and others during the day in a, a live chat room. Uh, I send out a weekly newsletter with my some of my scans. It's all fairly priced, so uh, check that out again, claytrader.com, or you can click in the links below the video here. And, uh, you know, give it a look over. Like I said, compared to a lot of the other courses and uh, membership services out there, I, mine are very, very fairly priced. Uh, probably some of the cheapest out there. But um, So check those out. Uh, thank you for listening, and hopefully you learned something.